Thank you, Mr. Ludmiser, for the tag. What we got here? The Japanese people are finally being exposed to the corruption of the localizers and how bad it is. Showing me a tweet from Rayforce Game. And the tweet reads, Hey, finally some Japanese YouTubers are starting to mention how bad the English translations of English-speaking anime are. I guess it's because a famous game commentator mentioned it that even Japanese YouTubers start to notice it. That takes us to this video. I guess this person, this uh, Japanese YouTuber, is talking about Asmon Gold's video, talking about Rev's video, talking about the Kobayashi's Dragon Maid situation. So a little bit of a rabbit hole, but uh, you get the idea. Basically saying, I wanted to wear something different so people wouldn't look at me. Yeah. And in the localization, it says, oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. Like, that's so outrageous. I don't even believe. Is this true? No way. That's great. Or what? No, I, I don't believe. I don't. I want to see it. I want to fucking see it. What's the title? Yeah, fact check right now. Yeah, I want to see it right now. What are you wearing that for? Oh, those pesky patriarchal societal demands were getting on my nerves. So I changed clothes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> with the goldfish, yo, look at that. I like the music they added to. True? No, <laughs> wait, that's great. Or oh, what? No. Oh man, that's funny. So you got the intro and all that. Then they seem to be going through some of these articles like this one talking about the announcement of AI technology for translations, the whole situation we were talking about a few days ago or so. You know the one where localizers were all mad about that news. And then uh, looks like the Japanese YouTubers even talking about Katrina. Katrina being mentioned in this article here. They got pulled up. Interesting stuff to see. Hey, we got Rabio in the comments. Look at that. It says, thank you for covering this. We've been complaining about localizers doing this for years and for years. It fell on deaf ears. It's good to see this finally making waves. Yeah, as he mentioned, a lot of us have been talking about this stuff for years and years. Guess all we need was Asmon Gold to talk about it. And there we go. It, it, it's funny, but, uh, you know, it's cool to see this stuff spreading. And we've also got a bunch of comments in Japanese, as you can see. So why don't we just put some of these in deep L, get an idea of what's going on here. First comment we got here, and it's already a great one. Check it out. Looks like they're on board for having the AI translators over the localizers. <laughs> it is better to have an AI translate Japanese into English than to have a Japanese translator's work based on the translator's own prickly proclivities. And AI will continue to evolve in the future. So I actually had to cut this the first time I read it. Because when I read prickly proclivities, I was just laughing too much, man. It's freaking funny. That said, of course, it's very wholesome seeing these JP bros uniting. And uh, calling out these corrupt localizers with all of us here overseas. Alright, next comment. And I'm going through the ones that are just like some of the most upvoted comments on that uh, video. So this one says, I really hate porikore. That stands for political correctness over in Japan. They like to spell it like that if you didn't know. So, porikore. Though I often do things like making my own claims on other people's works. I guess that's quoting one of the localizers or something from the article, I'm presuming. You know, translation's going to be a little bit scuffed here as these technologies are not perfect at the moment. Uh, continuing. If you can't respect the original, don't get involved, says the JP bro. Translation is because the degree of perfection is a huge difference due to the love of the original work of the translator. I hope you translate it to a translator who respects and loves the work properly. So I'm just going to presume that means like if, if anyone's going to translate it that's not an AI, they hope they actually love and respect the work. Something that a lot of these localizers seem to not. As a matter of fact, they seem to have the opposite opinion of a lot of these works. They just don't like them. And a lot of the localizers don't like anime, as mentioned. They also don't like anime fans. They also don't like gamers. And, you know, some of them translate games or localized games, I should say, as well. So it's just very odd that they hate all these things that then willingly decide to get into that field, a field that just upsets them every day. But maybe that's why they get into it, because they want to change the material so much. Anyways, on to the next. And this person, I already saw the translation on the right side. This person just calls out Katrina. Look at this one, guys. Holy smokes. I'm glad you picked up on this AI translation because I was really curious about it. Suck it, Katrina. This guy has been a problem for a long time. I wish they would only give work to serious translators. Katrina, of course, one of the more outspoken localizers, infamous for defending bad localizations that alter the source material. For example, what happened in this situation that we've talked about time and time again with Seven Seas, and I think I turned my childhood friend into a girl, where localizers changed a femboy character into a trans character, completely altering the source material as mentioned. This was so bad that the rights holders even demanded that Seven Seas edit and reprint the material. 
That is, of course, just one of the more notable situations involved with Katrina. She's also had her other fair share of controversies regarding localizations, but it's all a bit too much to recap here. So consider checking out my playlist on localizer corruption if you're interested in more of the stuff and if you're out of the loop on any of it. As for now, let's return to some of these funny comments. This time I've got two comments, one on top, one on bottom, and I'm showing two at once because, well, you'll see right now. First comment says, If a translation clearly deviates greatly from the original content, can't we sue for damaging the value of the work? It really makes me angry that a wonderful Japanese animation work is used to make an activist point. As well as, I wish all the dang localizers would be sued by the original creators and anime production companies. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad for these localizers now. Looking pretty bad. Japanese people talking about getting them sued, bringing this to the rights holders, bringing it to the production companies. Oof. Not something the localizers want to be hearing, that's for sure. Alright, this translation got kind of scuffed by DeepL, but I think it's also talking about Asmongold, and it's just kind of funny. Let's take a look at this, okay? While there are some divine translations that wow viewers, such as Nyamazing and Ront, I'm surprised that there are such harmful translations. Still, the beginning of the article, I think they mean video here, you know, DeepL means video here, I believe. Because I think this is like quoting Asmongold, basically, from the beginning, right? I wanna f***ing see it. What's the title? Yeah, fact check right now. Yeah, I wanna see it right now. Still, the beginning of the video. Unbelievable. Fact check. At the beginning of the video, you're so speechless and your eyes are fluttering. You have a really good reaction, don't you? Again, I think it's talking about Asmongold. Today's story was about an exasperated translator, but this reaction helped me to stop being annoyed a little. <laughs> and back to the translator comments. Let's check out this one. Another one of the top comments here. Really, Kore Kore often does the make your point with other people's work thing and i hate it if you can't respect the original work don't get involved translation is a very different thing depending on the translator's love for the original work i want translators who respect and love the work to translate it well here's another one talking about like getting the the localizer suit or something check this out can't we punish activists who pose as translators rather i think it is inevitable that we should try to make ai because of these people and we've also got this one as well. Reading. A country is also a country's diplomacy. And if a translator makes a self-serving claim without following the country's intentions, it becomes a diplomatic issue. Translators are not AI, but they are expected to be faithful to their employers and their work. If you don't like it, you shouldn't take the job, right? And we'll end with this one. Another comment talking about getting them sued. Says... I would like to know if it is possible for the production committee or the author to sue. Self-serving translators are unprofessional and sad as an anime lover. As you can see, people in Japan are not happy with these Western localizers. And I don't blame them one bit. I mean, nobody wants to see things that you love being abused by self-serving armchair activists who hate the things that they work on. So thank you to all the JP bros for those comments and thank you to that Japanese goldfish VTuber as well for that video. And as always, thank you for tuning in. Consider liking and or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this coverage for more segments like this every day. I'll see you in the comments and in the next one.